Okay, here with uh, John Montero. So for those who don't know you all that much, just kind of talk about your basketball journey. What's that been like? Oh, my name is John Montero. I'm coming from the, the Dominican Republic. You know, I'm 18 years old. I was playing in, um, I'm a star when I was starting going out, going out of Dominican at 13 years old. I went to NBA Academy in Mexico, you know. Then I moved, I moved on to um, Daytona, DME Academy uh, in Florida. And I decided to go, to go play in professional, you know, in Spain, Gran Canaria, Yosemite. And I was playing there for over like two seasons. You know, I had an incredible moment over there. You know, they taught me a lot how to be a pro, how to be, you know, a leader. And, you know, just for me, playing with those role men, you know, those guys, they taught me a lot. And, you, you know, then I decided to sign with Overtime Elite. You know, it was, it was a little bit risky for me and my family just to decide to sign something that is, it was too new at the moment. You know, nobody know about Overtime. Nobody know what was going on with that, with that league, who, who was they playing with. And I decided to develop my game over there this season. It, they taught me a lot too. I'm very thankful with them because they, they been doing incredible um, incredible things with me, you know, just helping me in my career, my work, and it was, it was good. Gotcha, so kind of on that note, uh, maybe elaborate a little bit more, just like what was your overall experience with overtime this year? I mean, my overall experience with overtime, I mean, as I just say like, it was too much work I put in into it, you know, it was like signs the morning to the night, just Thinking about basketball, going to the court, right. get some shots, practice, work out with myself, you know, going to the gym to get my body right. And, you know, it was an incredible moment over there. I enjoyed a lot. I had an incredible moment with my people over there because I, I know two guys, Luis Duarte and Janet Walker over there. That's my two boys. They, uh, Luis is from Dominican and Janet is from Puerto Rico. So, you know, kind of little brother over there. Okay. Uh, what are your uh, kind of impressions of, uh, of the week so far here? Uh, Man, impressive. They got a lot of talent. I didn't know about some guys over here. You know, just met them and shedding moments with them. I'm proud to be here and I'm thankful with the coaching staff for giving me the opportunity to show my talent to the work. And I'm, I think my my whole team is ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow game is a big game. It's going to be a big game against USA basketball. And just put it, put it work and let it know. And what's it kind of mean to kind of, you know, represent the Dominican Republic out here? No, the Dominican Republic means a lot to me, bro, because I'm coming from nothing. No, a lot, no, a lot of people make it, make it out from the because you know, small island, small country, nobody knows kind of where Dominican is at. Is at. And just for me, make it out and, and, and represent the country, to represent the, the flag of the Dominican means a lot. means a lot to, to, to my family, represent my family, represent my friends. You know, it just means a lot to me. Hey, what's the, uh, like, touch on the basketball culture a little bit? What's it like down there? I mean, Dominican Republic is not a kind of basketball country. It's about baseball. A lot of people play baseball over there, you know. And just to play basketball and just show to the world about ta Dominican talent is incredible to me because I think I'm, I'm open doors to those young little kids who want to make it out and want to show their talent to the world. And I'm just want to do that, open some door with them to the call the, the scouts, uh, college scouts, and uh, high school scouts. Go there and see their talents so they can give them some opportunities, you know, to show their talents. For sure. Um, so talk about, like, how did you get into basketball? How did you start with that? I get into basketball because my, um, I mean, my family, I got a couple of uncles that play basketball. I got a couple of cousins who play basketball, too. My friends around me growing up played basketball too, and I, and I had a, I had a, a court like right in the corner of my house when I was growing up, you know. So basketball was, was around me growing up, so I decided to play because I love this game too much. And it was kind of like every time I touch the basketball, I just got away from the world. That that sounds I was a little kid, you know. A lot of problems around uh, my family, a lot of problems was uh, around my friends and around me, and I just decided to play basketball because I. That gave me out of the uh, auto, all the problems, you know. Gotcha. Did you play any other sports coming up? Yeah, I play baseball. Like I said, on the many games I baseball plays, and I play baseball, but baseball like it's kind of boring to me because you gotta wait until the ball comes to you to have fun with it and stuff. But um, basketball, you get at to 
you always moving, you're always doing something, talking, having fun with your friends, you know, and basketball means a lot to me, for real. Gotcha. Um, so, anybody that's, uh, you know, impressed you out here so far this week? I mean, everybody, because I didn't know about them. I didn't know about them, so everybody impressed me, and I just here, you know, um, trying to be a leader of my team, trying to get a, the dub tomorrow, and... You know, I'm proud of everybody because everybody have I've been putting work into their lives to get here and show their their talent to the work. So, um, you know, a lot of NBA scouts, a lot of GMs, that type of stuff do throughout the week. What are you hoping to show them? I mean, they already see my game. They already see what I'm capable to do, uh, able to do in the court. You know, just uh, having Danny here and watching us play and having fun. I mean, it means a lot to every player. You know. And I just wait for myself just to be me tomorrow. Just be me, who I am, play as, as I know how to play basketball, and that's it. Right. Uh, for those who haven't seen you play, just kind of describe your game. What are some of your strengths? That well, my play? game is like uh, I'm a I'm a point guard, and I can play uh, shooting guard too. I'm a combo guard, so you know I can shoot a ball, I can dribble the ball so well, I can rebound sometimes, I can get five this rebound each game and I can assist so well too. I can share the ball with my teammates, you know, get my teammates in ball. I kind of, the leader of my team, every team I'm in, so, you know. Nice, uh, what's uh, maybe one thing that you've learned so far this week? This week, um, I think how to be a leader. Yeah, how to be a leader, because you know, I was playing with Roman back in the span, and you know, how you gonna tell a, a, a Roman, uh, like, 40, 40 years old, man, how to do things or whatever it is. You've been like 16, 17 years old, you know, and now just being able to he be here with those young little kids and like 18, my age and stuff, just be a leader, for real. Um, maybe uh, what's uh, like an underrated aspect of your game you don't get enough credit for? I mean, um, uh, like my shoot. Yeah, my shoot, because I've been, um, Struggling this this the last season, I've been struggling my shot, but I put in a lot of work into it, so I can get it done. I can get it right. You know, I can shoot the ball well. Um, you know, you're draft eligible this year. Um, who do you feel like are like the top five guards in this class, including yourself? Uh, in order, how would you rank that? I mean, I think I'm the best point guard in the in this draft coming in, cause you know, and but I think me, Ty Ty. The key from ten Tennessee and Kyler Love, he plays so well this this um, final four. And I can tell one more, I don't know. I wasn't I wasn't I mean I wasn't watching the, the NCAA tournament this year. Bro, you can tell like, you know? Gotcha. So you, Ty Ty, Caleb Love, Kennedy Chandler, yeah. um, you know, some of the other guys, maybe Jaden Hardy. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, guys like that. Uh, yeah. Put yourself at the top of that. Yeah, for sure. I'm the best, and I'm a, I'm a showing what I'm about. Like you know, um, I guess what's it gonna mean to you, kind of hearing your na uh, hearing your name called on, uh, on draft day? It's gonna be a great night. You know, just be my oh, uh, hear my name being called up, and it's gonna be a huge privilege for me and my family, my country. Cause not not a lot of Dominican players play in the NBA, you know, and it's gonna be a huge. I'm gonna be so proud of myself and. For real. Uh, getting to know you a little bit off the court, um, just outside of basketball, what are some of your hobbies that way? Like any I mean, unique interests? <laughs> yeah, I like to play uh, 2K, GTA 5. Okay. Um, I like to go to shopping, be with my friends, like playing music, dancing. You know, I'm coming from Dominican, Dominican just dance. And I mean, just play music, be with my friends, play 2Ks against them. Um, and sometimes play basketball, just compete like three on three, one on one, you know, and have fun with it. How do you uh, how do you rate yourself on two K? To my um, myself, I think I'm well on it. I I just love two games against my friends in my life for real. I'm too, I'm 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 so competitive. What I'm doing, every I mean, you know, matter what I'm doing, I'm I'm just trying to win every time. Gotcha. And we'll close it with this. But uh, if you had one hashtag to describe yourself, either on or off the court. What would that hashtag be and why? A happy guy, I think. For real, I'm, I'm just happy. Happy to live, I'm, and I'm thankful with the guy. 
you got, I mean, like I said, not a lot of men can make it out. So, you know, you got to be proud of yourself. You got to be proud of what you're doing. And just me being here, I represent my country, it means a lot to me. And I'm just happy for it. All right, thank you for the time, man. Welcome.